Hello, uh, once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin from City Sewing. This time I have here, um, this is a very important part of the machine. You know, this is the foot for this. Um, um, yeah, I, 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 I had a customer who actually broke this part right here. These are called the lappers, okay? Um, this is a really, really important. Um, without this, the machine will not sew. So. You need to be careful with this. Um, I want to make a small video just um, so that you know that when you, this is here, when you lose that screw, that's how you adjust, you know, the width of uh, the, um, whatever material you're sewing. So it's very, very um, um, nice fit, but you know, at the same time, it's very fragile. Right here, the lapper, it's very, very fine right over here together with the feeder. So, you know, every time you have to lose it or tighten it, you have to be really, really careful with this, okay? This is the only part that I don't have for this machine. I have left over a few pieces, three or four, then I have sent it to different shops, um, one to South America, I sent another one to um, in the Dominican Republic, and another one, you know, the lappers, this part you see here. This is the only part I'm very, very short with it, so we have to be careful with it. I wanted to make a small video because adjusting the lapper, it's really um, necessary to do, but you have to be careful. If you break this little part, you won't be able to use the machine. And you know, I have a um, customer who called me, for example, this one here, tighten it so much that you could see inside the fruit, the screw got broken. It should be a hole in there for the screw to go, but the screw is together with the lapper broken. Now it's a chain because I don't have any more. So I, I'm gonna show you right here how to, you know, how do I do it when I'm dealing with this? I broke a few of them with the same time because I keep it on my hand and I try to adjust it, you know, have it on my hand and trying to adjust it. After I realized that this is not the proper way and I don't want you to go through the same issue because if you overseas or anywhere and you have a problem with this, you won't be able to get this nowhere. Nobody has it. So if I can't get it made, this is gonna be a big problem. But for now, you know, you have your speaker. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the phone now, I'm gonna, show you here how I put it on and you know you will try to get something a by script you know something a plier maybe like this you know hold it in the back I'm gonna show you how I do it like I said very very sensitive part so you gotta be careful this is the lapper you know this is the foot and this is the lapper right over here this little part right over here very short limited amount of it so you gotta be really really careful okay um let me show you now how do I do it and you know when I need to adjust it what is exactly how I do it so you take you know take that into consideration that you have to be careful with that okay here I have the lapper here I have the foot what I do I mount on a vice grip because what I need to do is when I have it you know I have these and I need to loosen what I do you know once this is loose here then you know you could actually move these little gear on the right here and that's where you bring it in and out as you can see it gets wide and small but this is very fragile. So if you force it or you, you know, you do something strong to it, you're definitely gonna break it. So, you know, I recommend you to use a bias creep, use something to hold it. So when you need to make it tight, remember this is not gonna pull any truck, it's not gonna pull anything. So make sure you tighten it. Just tighten it gently, it's not gonna move, you see? It's not gonna move, you know? So tighten it gently, but try to be very careful with this. This is actually a stronger one, but 99% of the time they really, um. They're really, you know, fragile, and, and these parts here, you know, this is the lapper that goes here, as you can see. Once you break that, you have, you see how this one has a broken screw inside? It's bad, because I, that's it, you can't do anything else with it. So, be very careful with this. This is the lapper, this is the foot, this is the adjusting gauge, this is the screw, and then in here you have a little pressure washer that put pressure on it so that that doesn't move. Um important very very important so be very very careful when you're dealing with a foot you know if you don't have a vice use you know use a vice grip or something you know i have a vice right now on the shop because i'm in the shop but if you are not try to use a vice grip or something to hold it on the back make sure you don't hold it like this because a lot of people what they do they hold it they try to hold it by the hand and they try to move it and that's when they break it okay so you know this is that you know the lapper the foot careful with that very limited very limited so this is my only concern. The rest of the parts, I'm not worried about it. You know, I could ha I'd have all the parts I have by the hundreds, but these are very limited, couple of them. So be very careful, okay? 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Ryan from City Sewing. www.citysewing.com in New York. Bye-bye.